adding the lethal weapon. For these Balinese men, animal cruelty doesn't seem to be an issue, and the bets are on. Cockfighting is taken seriously here, and with the spurs now attached, it's fight time. In a fight, one rooster has to die. That's the system. It can take up to 10 rounds. The owner of the losing rooster is obliged to offer the dead bird to the winner for food. Cockfighting is a centuries-old tradition in Indonesia. The blood spilled is believed to appease evil spirits. Cockfighting has existed for generations since our ancestors. In the past, cockfighting was only held in sacred places. Today, it's often more about money. For many Balinese men, this practice is a main source of income. Combined bets on a single fight can total almost 2,000 US dollars. The gamblers use gestures which are only understood by them. It is related to a very spiritual belief and no one will ever dare to run away without paying their debts. Gambling is illegal in Indonesia and can lead up to 10 years in jail. But Balinese authorities seem to be turning a blind eye. Meanwhile, for this community, living at the feet of Mount Agung, an erupting volcano who's already displaced more than 100,000 people, cockfighting is a welcome distraction.